Greetings, discreet defenders. I think we might finally have the proper sky conditions to test out the honey badger ammunition from Black Hills. Through the Ruger LCR, across the Pro Chrono for velocity. Now, a quick, a quick word about the honey badger. This is the, uh, this is the Lehigh um, solid copper non-expanding bullet type and it is 100 grains the box does not have the specifications as near as i can tell um, but reading off the website they're supposed to be um, some pretty hot ammunition but i guess uh i guess we'll find out or we'll see how they do out of the short-barreled Ruger LCR because a lot of times companies will give a list velocity or a list energy in this case that's a little optimistic considering they're probably shooting it out of a four or a six inch test barrel but uh, we'll test out the honey badger right now for velocity and that will yield muzzle energy, which I will have to publish in the details. All right, looks like the Pro Chrono is ready. A brand new battery, perfectly clear blue sky. Should be able to get a good read, although these are solid copper. A thousand seven. 950, 956, 969, 983, five shot average, 973 feet per second. Now, for a 100 grain bullet, that's terribly disappointing. That is nothing like 300 foot-pounds of muzzle energy but 973 feet per second muzzle velocity out of a short barrel like this is certainly adequate for defensive purposes after all it's not a it's, it's not a hollow point it's not an expanding type bullet it's new jersey legal but uh yeah Pretty good velocity, decent velocity. Obviously, if you had 100 and, say 125 grain JHP, clocking 973, you'd be very, very pleased with those results. But the next test we're gonna set up and do is a quick penetration test. And I'm gonna have about a 25 inch column of water. Uh, my, my my substitute gel column on this occasion is actually kitty litter jars. And since it's not an expanding hollow point, there's no expansion to be measured in the test, we're going to exclusively be interested to see what kind of penetration we get. And 25 inches of water, even with the heavy, relatively dense plastic, relatively heavy plastic, of a kitty litter jar versus a milk jug, for example, we may be able to catch these slugs, but probably not. The number one thing I want to see is if they go straight. So, uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes a light for caliber bullet will veer to one side or another, especially in a, uh, a gel medium, but you can generally find that out with water jugs pretty pretty uh, pretty effectively as well so the number one thing I want to see is if they veer or if they if they go straight and I want to see if they over penetrate and there will probably be backsplash as we are shooting from four feet away all right Jug number one, 
is obviously wrecked. Jug two, hold through and through. Might be some evidence of a little bit of sideways, maybe a little bit of tumbling. Kitty litter jar number three. And again, these are about six and a half inches all the way through, just slightly wider than a gallon jug. Oh, jug number three. <laughs> Mark out the back. So that's about uh, 19 inches of water penetration plus that hard plastic of the kitty litter jars. Jug three definitely contains a bullet. We will recover that round. We'll recover that slug and see what it looks like. All right. Again, uh, as anticipated, copper being a pretty, a, a relatively hard metal when compared with lead is or tin or anything like that, will definitely not show up any deformation. Although I wonder if you loaded them backwards, if they would expand at all. Look at that interesting little powder cavity in the back. And there is the solid copper screwdriver style projectile from Lehigh, but loaded in this case by Black Hills Ammunition. I think they're loaded in Sturgis. The, uh, the box says Rapid City, but uh, whatever. Black Hills, South Dakota, one of the last free states in the Union. Pretty, pretty, uh, does not penetrate excessively. Obviously, 18 inches of water penetration, or yeah, 19 inches, whatever, is not, um, is not the same as 18 inches of gel penetration, but with the heavy plastic of the kitty litter jars, it's certainly would beat the 12 inch IWBA slash FBI specification for gel penetration. Well, folks, there's the test for the week. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Dave with DDR signing off.